Hey Aquarius, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be your June 2023 love reading to see what messages the divine currently has for you in regards to your connection with the person in your energy. This is going to be for Aquarius and for those who have Aquarius anywhere in their natal chart. Cross watches, you are welcome here. Okay, and keep in mind the energy is fluid. So the roles may be reversed, may flip these messages as needed if necessary, but never force it. If this is your reading, the messages will be fluid. Okay, never force it, guys. All right, so let's get into it and see what messages that we have for you guys. the page of cups the emperor reverse and ace of pentacles and crowned the emperor reverse is crowned by the nine of wands okay i feel like there's there's been some difficulty with someone that you're connecting with between the two of you there's somebody who's very very stubborn okay it's hard for this person to be willing to compromise with you i'm getting um, sometimes this person's behavior is a bit out of control with Emperor Reverse Energy. It could be connected with an Aries. It could be any sign. This person, I'm getting the energy of someone who may in fact have some parental issues. I'm getting like an absentee parent, like absentee father figure, or they be may they may have issues. If this is, if this is a masculine, they may have some sort of parental issues. With, in, with a child of theirs or children. They may be an absentee father or they may have an absentee father. That's what I'm getting, okay? But um, th I'm getting like this trauma, whatever trauma that they deal with, anything from the past is affecting their connections. And it's, an, it's affecting their ability to be flexible and compromising, <clears throat> especially in conflict. I get this person just, just trying to be right, not really being receptive to what you're saying at the time kind of stonewalling you and just trying to be right. Um, I get that this is something that's ongoing anytime there's conflict with this Nine of Wands. Um, <clears throat> but I do get trying to learn from this past failure. I get that this situation drains you. I feel like this is draining you. Um, I have the Five of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. I get that there was a compromise in communication with your person and with this page of, cu page of cups, that actually confirmed this. I feel like this person apologized to you. And this person is actually willing to learn about you know emotional issues that they have. They're like aware of that. They, re they recognize that they're out of control at times during conflicts. And um, I feel like they might've gifted you something sweet or something emotional took place, but this person came to you with an apology with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, I feel like in this connection that someone is manifesting some sort of um, security. It could be stability. It could be with money. Um, something in abundance. Okay. So we're going to pull more messages here. Show me more for Aquarius. Five, seven of Cups is here. I feel like even though this person apologized to you, Aquarius, you're still like, <clears throat> you have a lot going on. In your head, they're still trying to make decisions in regards to this connection. I get that there's still some confusion on your end, and um, I feel like you're in this stuck energy about this person's issues. Like there's a lot of different like choices that you're trying to make. You're trying to figure shit out. <clears throat> so I get that that wasn't like the end all because this person apologized. I feel like this is not the first time. I get that this person always apologizes. But it's like, okay, where's the accountability, though? That's what I'm looking for. Eight of Wands reverse. Why is this Eight of Wands reverse here for Aquarius? Two of Pentacles reverse. Okay. I feel like there's something being hasty, some sort of hasty decision being made. Um, it might be connected to money with this Two of Pentacles reverse. 
I'm getting bad timing about something, something that's a poor financial decision. Okay, so I feel like there's something that you may, you may be feeling within this connection that financially it's not the right decision to make. So I urge you to speak to your person about that if you're not already communicating that. Death reverse. Yeah, there's an ability to move forward. This is Scorpio energy. You could be connecting with a Scorpio. I'm getting repetitive negative patterns. Like I'm getting that someone's resistant to change. I feel like this is your person with the Emperor reverse. This person lacking flexibility, being stubborn, thinking they're right. And it's causing the stagnancy here, okay? And I'm getting Empress at the bottom of the deck. That's your energy. You're very nurturing, very healing, loving, um, very high quality person. Value your, your relationship, value your home. And, you know, so you got your shit together. And you just want your person to be receptive to the fact that you know what's best for the both of you. And you just want them to be on the same page. So, therefore, they know what's best for the both of you as well. Okay, so I also get this, again, this Ace of Pentacles. I feel like it's your energy trying to get shit right financially, um, focusing on, you know, financial stability and abundance. Okay, show me the breakdown in this connection between Aquarius and that person. Okay. Show me one more, please. The breakdown in this connection, I got the Strength Reverse, the Four of Cups Reverse, and the Nine of, I mean, the King of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like in this connection, it was someone just didn't feel like there was enough for the other person. They felt very insecure. They felt like they were being neglected, um, very vulnerable because the person wasn't, your person wasn't showing up for you. But I do see you again, trying to let go of any regrets that you have, any stagnancy, like just really trying to be enthusiastic with this Four of Cups reverse. Um, this could also be your person's energy, the Four of Cups reverse. Just trying to, you know, end the stagnancy. Because this person really does want to bring you security, okay? Financial security, emotional stability um, with this King of Pentacles. This person wants to be somebody who takes a risk, but takes a risk in a, in a responsible way. Okay, they want to be everything that you need them to be. They want to come across as being very mature, very grounded, very successful. Okay, so but the breakdown is that you know they weren't showing up for you, they weren't making these things happen. It would give you an illusion, and this person was even feeling like I'm getting with the strength reverse Leo energy that they felt like they wasn't enough. They're not there, they felt the inadequacy like they wasn't enough. They felt there was a lot of self-doubt here, a lot of weakness, a lot of vulnerability. And I get to a person acting hasty because they're being impatient with themselves because they're tired of the struggles. But they are trying to pull themselves out of that situation. But that th their inadequacy is what caused the breakdown here. Their insecurities, okay? Show me Aquarius' person's current feelings, please. For Aquarius, I have the Knight of Wands. Ten of... Well, Ten of Pentacles and the, and the Four of Wands reverse. A lot of fire energy could, could be connected with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or somebody who has fire in their chart. Your person just recognizes that there's been a lot of challenges in this connection. They even recognize that they, they've brought unhappiness into this connection. They've been narrow-minded, and they, they know that you're not receiving that well. But they do want abundance with you, with the Ten of Pentacles. And there, there's just an urgency for them to do it. But Spirit is saying they're being hasty. Again, I'm getting this warning about hasty behavior. Hasty behavior. All right. Um, I got the Queen of Wands reversed at the bottom of the deck. And that's telling me a person should be very careful of someone. It could be like a child's mother. Um, someone from there. Someone... Someone imposing their values on them, like somebody trying to come in and persuade them to do something that they shouldn't be doing, okay? That just came out. I had to, that's, that, does, that is not going to resonate with everyone, but that's important. Be very careful about this Queen of Wands reverse, okay? Um... I do get the energy of... Your person being hasty, whether it's good or bad, okay? Passionate. I feel like there's a lot of passion in this connection. Um, 
your, your person loves a challenge, but they just have to be smart and strategic um, about their next moves. They come off very passionate. I did get Scorpio energy. Scorpios are very passionate about everything. <laughs> and um, But again, this is King of Wands. It's also fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, um, but there's a need to slow down and think about things and be strategic. But your person, they, the whole point is they want this Ten of Pentacles. They want a solid foundation with you. But I even get the energy of them being so frustrated that they leave home. You know, they walk out on you. They may ghost you or they may stay out later than they should. Just, just because they're angry, that kind of thing. They have a hard time um, expressing their emotions in a healthy dynamic because of the past tra um, trauma and of their childhood. Spirit, please show me Aquarius's feelings for their person. Wow. Okay, I have the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Tower Reverse. And again, like, I got, you know, there was communication with your person. Um, I feel like this a certain conversation gave you a breakthrough with this Ace of Swords. You realizing the truth about your person. Um, you want them to reciprocate what it is that you bring to the table with this Six of Pentacles. You know, you're very giving. You're very generous. You're very kind. And being valued by your person is important. But your person with the tower reverse, which is Aries energy again, is there's this energy of resisting change. And it's just like you went through a lot, but you're like, you know, now, now is the time for us to get this shit together. What happened, happened. What has been destroyed has been destroyed. What we did wrong, we can't go back and unring the bell. That's the energy I'm getting from you, Aquarius. And that's how you feel about your person because they like to sulk in what went wrong. And you're like, let's take a time, let's process this, let's release this, and let's focus on moving forward. Okay, let's let's communicate about this. And I feel like that's what the ace of court, the ace of swords is. You're like, we need to communicate. We need clarity on what it is we need to do so that we're on the same page and we're both bringing something to the table. <clears throat> we're reciprocating the same energy. Okay, because with the page of pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck, there's money problems here, and you still feel that your person doesn't really show that they appreciate you the way that you appreciate them. All right. So show me Aquarius' challenges in regards to this connection, please. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Oh my God, a lot of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There's a lot of Earth energy in this reading. You could be connecting with any of those signs. Um, the challenge is stability here. Like, you want your person to have independent stability. You want to see them do well instead of being reckless. Like, their thing is, you feel like they're being enticed into shady investments or just making decisions with the wrong people. Like I said, I did pick up the Queen of Wands reversed. Be very careful of that energy. Um, your challenge is financial security. I get the energy of fear of your person um neglecting their responsibilities and that is a challenge there like you you're, you're really heavy on what this person is willing to do so they feel stable and so that the the connection is stable because there's a challenge of financial stability and emotional stability here show me advice please for Aquarius what is it what advice do you have for Aquarius in regards to this person wow your cards just literally all three of them flew out I have the Page of Pentacles reverse again. <laughs> wow, just I just pulled that at the bottom of the deck, and the Five of Cups and the Justice here. You just feel like your person isn't valuing you. That's why there was this resistance in the beginning of the reading. Like, okay, this person apologized. I love this person, but I'm just trying to figure stuff out. I feel like you have a lot going on in your head about how you should proceed with this person and that's why you're here at this reading okay um i even feel like there was a time where this person 
broke your heart. Something happened in this connection. Something that brought you some sort of grief. This person has abandonment issues. Um, this person hurt you. Okay. There's a feeling with this five of cups of a lot of negative emotions. Somebody here is focusing on negative emotions. I feel like it's your person. Like they constantly focus on the negative. The thing is, you, thoughts become things. If you focus on the negative, you can't expect positive to manifest. So here you are trying to bring a bend, manifest abundance into the connection, but your person is wallowing. Okay. Um, and again, your person, I feel like they may have abandonment issues. Again, childhood trauma. So the advice that I have for you is the justice, okay? Take this as a life lesson. Everything has a cause and effect. Like, you guys will, you know, there's consequences to, to, to actions, okay? And that's just life. But it's all about saying, okay, we did this and it didn't work when we did it this way. So let's try it another way. That wasn't effective. We lost this when that happened. You know, look at the situation, process C. Don't make the same mistakes. Avoid that by assessing the situation and saying we have to do things differently. Okay. I also feel like you, you, you feel that your person owes you an, an, an apology about something. Show me one more as far as advice. Yeah, I got the Ace of Wands reversed. Somebody is like wasting their their talent, their potential. Like I feel like that's your person sitting around and being hesitant about making the right moves and being hasty about the wrong moves is a recipe for disaster. That's why the justice is like you know we leave our energy. There will be consequences whether whether you do the right things or the wrong things. There's going to be consequences. Show me more for advice. I need clarity. Three of Cups reverse. Just be careful of somebody on the outside of this relationship. I'm getting the energy of, again of somebody trying to take advantage of the situation. Okay, again, I got that Queen of, of Wands reversed earlier. So look out for that energy for someone. I get it. I really get like it's an ex or a child's mother, you know, some that kind of thing. Someone who's still connected here in some way. All right, so just be aware of that energy, Aquarius. Okay, that could apply to you or your person. Show me more advice. Ten of Cups. This person, you and your person, there's a lot of love in this connection. Y'all really do want to be together. There's a lot of love. You want to take this to a higher level of commitment at some point if you're not there yet. I feel like for some of you, you are married to your person. If you're not, this is the person that wants to marry you. But, you know, it's going to require patience and putting in a lot of work. The Page of Swords is requiring communication. Um, again, I'm getting someone who's very calculating and, and unconcerned about somebody's feelings. Tell me why this page of swords is here for Aquarius, please. Three of Pentacles reverse. I feel like there's somebody just not willing to come together and put in the work. They're being selfish. That could be a person. That could be, again, an ex, a, ch a child's mother, um, a child's father. Take it as it resonates. But someone who's on the outside, not willing to come together, I'm getting even co-parenting issues, okay? Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay? Hard work will pay off. The work has to be done. So there's a need for all of you to get on the same page. Anybody that's involved with affecting your relationship financially needs to be on an up and up and needs to be on the same page. That is super important. If y'all want this to work and y'all want to manifest these things and you're trying to get to a higher level of commitment and, you know, abundance financially and sec financial emotional security, there's a need to come together and be transparent with each other, come up with a plan, put it into action, put in the work. It's going to require a lot of patience, a lot of perseverance, a lot of work. But it's, it's going to need, it's going to require a team effort. If not, you're going to get delays. You're going to get disasters. All right? So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some lovers oracle cards. You just got to come together. You and your person really, really need to get on the same page. All the issues in this connection is because that's not the case. You're not handling conflicts the same way. And you're not on the same page about your plans moving forward. 
And if somebody is interfering on the outside, y'all need to come together and put that person in, in a smash, okay? I'm getting somebody who has like a complex, like a superiority complex or something. They think that they have a right to death. There's no boundaries with this person. And they think they have a right to do what they do or their interference is justified. My beloved, though we may physically, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. All right? So for some of you, this person that you're with, I get the energy of being temporarily separated, okay? So this person might have ghosted you after an argument, after some stupid ass fight or something, but they love you, okay? And they're like, we're still together, even when I walk away, that kind of shit. But I feel like that's like a very temporary thing, like that was temperamental, if there was a conflict, that's a very specific message, it's not gonna resonate with everyone. Be aware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So you mirror each other's energy. So if you want positive energy, you have to mirror that in each other, okay? Be very careful about what you're putting out there. Be very mindful and aware of your own behavior, you and your person. This person I get is not really, they project. I get this person is the one that projects one to you, but you have responsibility on how you react to their actions. Okay, Aquarius? Wait, don't rush it. Allow nature to take its course. Yes, definitely there's a need to slow down and don't make hasty decisions in this connection. Okay? You guys need to come together, communicate, sit with it, let it process, and then release the bullshit and then hold on to the stuff that's going to help you elevate. New beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. You guys can have this new beginning that you desire where you both feel stable. So as a new beginning, what I'm saying is stability, okay? Shit fell apart. Now it's time to put shit back together, all right? Everything is not permanent, you know what I'm saying? So it's things, yeah, sometimes things get really bad, but they can be great again, all right? So anyway, those are the messages that I have for you, Aquarius, for this reading. If it resonated, please tap that like button. I wish you healing love. I wish you light, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.